Okay, here we go. We have Sherman. Are you still on the phone, Anna? Oh, are you still doing the video? No, you can talk to Grandpa again. Oh, okay. But hey, can you go in my car and get the uh, iPhone cable out of my car because I'm going to need it? I just ordered a whole bunch more. Whammo, TV star. Unpunched. I'm also going to have a really cool Star Wars video coming from the Hoarder House. Now, this is really cool. Check this out. So, I have a lot of these little books. Um, most of them are bigger than this, but this is a Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse will not quit. Mickey Mouse wins the race. Mickey Mouse and Tanglefoot. So, I don't remember when Mickey Mouse started. But, this is definitely an early race. So, this is way before Disneyland. So, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is misfortune. Oh, I handle this careful. Otherwise, you guys tell me, oh, yeah, it's a rough. So, what is this to spine this loose here? So we have a load right here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this if it focuses. 1934, Walt Disney Enterprises, Great, Bit Great Britain, rights reserved. So that's kind of cool. There's a whole series. And even the graphics on here are pretty awesome. I like stuff like this. So that's cool. So that's probably going to go on eBay what it's worth uh, here's an old Monopoly still have to so somebody also asked me in past videos war comics what happened to war comics pretty much everything on there which should be at least a thousand copies is war comics and here's more superhero stuff may I leave the room by Klaus and Kendall Hayley House, so that's some kind of old game. It was sold for a dollar. First edition. I'm not gonna check if it's worth anything. The Sunken Treasure Game. Parker Press. Oh, it looks like it's there. Pieces. I'll just have to check this. Okay, so here. Robin Aurora. The Boy Wonder. Lucky slowly started, but it looks like a lot of it is there. I mean, these are Aurora kids like this, I think. I mean, they gotta be a couple hundred bucks a piece. You guys seen this in the house? This is really cool. This is gonna go on eBay. This is Lawrence of Arabia, and it's a pass for uh, your ticket for the Inventational Preview Daytime. So that's kind of cool. A little bit of Hollywood memorabilia. This is a 1977. That's the year I was born. Packed, but it's coming off a little bit. Hot Wheels. Drax to strip. Don McEwen. Tom. It's kind of cool. This is a Kenna. I think this is a mail away, so I haven't researched this yet. Made in Hong Kong. It's dated 1982 or 83. It's gonna be hard to see. It has a little open down here, but it looks like it. Uh, so this is original Star Wars uh, mail away. It's kind of cool. If you like Star Wars, I got a bunch of cool Star Wars stuff coming too. Remember how me and my dad did this eBay video, how to make money? Here's the Fantasia. This is sealed and it's long box. This should probably bring 20, 30 bucks on eBay, at least. Gorky. This should be 70s, right? Let me see. Doesn't say. Oh, 1982. Batman. I think these are like 30, 40 bucks. Just a motorcycle. Here's a weird one. So, this is like, you know, when I had some, somebody look at some of the stuff here in my house and show them some stuff, they were geeking out on stuff like this. This is Captain America. Airplane launcher pistol. And you know, if I don't know prices on something, if I can't find it, I might just, you know, just run it at an auction. Dick Tracy, Space Coop Aurora. You know, I think I looked this up and it wasn't that crazy. So it's in there. 
I think that was only like 50, 60 bucks. But don't quote me, I could be wrong. I think I looked these up, Batman. And these were selling for like 30 bucks for the set for four pence in 1989. But this all has been a while. Okay, you know what? So here's the ring, the ring for the Phantom. So it's separated, so it just needs a staple. So that's kind of cool. <coughs> okay, check these out. These are the Marks. I believe these are 1966 Marvel Mechanical Superheroes. They're still in box. I don't know if they've ever been removed from the box or not. I just don't know. So Spider-Man, I think he's the rarest. Then you have Captain America. Then you have Thor. These are marks. Now, here's Captain America Daredevil. See a show. And I know I got the viewers somewhere with more slides. So I'm going, this is just a packaging. So I'm gonna put this aside and find it then. <clears throat> hey, you wanna bring this doll over here then? I haven't cleaned this one yet. So this one was on display. It's Superman, Miko in original box. And I don't have the Spider-Man yet, but I think I have the Spider-Man somewhere too. Here's Aquaman. I'm not sure if these are gonna go this, on eBay. This is scary. It is scary. My face starts <laughs> Hey, I'll just put them out, put them out careful. I'll show them the There's other stuff in there. I know, we'll put a Tarzan. I know we have to clean some of the stuff. Some of his dust because it's just been sitting. Robin. This is wee business. You know he's not gonna do it. I will clean. Catwoman. You guys heard that. We got that on record. <laughs> and then Batman. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I got Spider-Man somewhere. I'm from the top of the bottom. What is this? This is the river bell. Something really dirty. Yeah, this, I don't know, this might just go. It's too rough. This is just a plate. What does it say on there? Century 21st Exposition, Seattle World's Fair. Mm. Hmm. This is, you know what this is, right? They built the Space Needle in like 1967 for the World Fair. Maybe that's what that's from. No, this says 1962. Do you know what this is? 62. Okay, the World Fair. What? You don't know what this is? This is a silent ship, Battlestar Galactica. Oh, okay. Well, it's not so. Okay, then we have Danny O'Day, ventril ventrilo ventriloquist figure. Ventriloquist. Okay, pull them up carefully with the box. Say the pondering right about now. <laughs> Printed in USA. Like the laughing. <laughs> That's cool. There's no date on them, is there? I don't see anything. I don't know, oh, pull the is... string. Careful though. Oh, it doesn't pull. Oh, I just might move his mouth. Yeah, this guy's definitely evil. Oh, his mouth doesn't move. Oh. Alright, so I gotta clean some stuff on this table. I don't know. This might be enough for the first video. Show me that day lift box. Movie on video cassette. Yeah, so this was advertising. So you would see this uh, John Carpenter's Day Live. You would see this probably like in a blockbuster. Day Live. And there's change. This is actually a good movie. See their face changes. Um, so we'll show some of that stuff. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to do a part two because there's a bunch more toys in here we need to go look at. Actually, I probably have enough for part two, part three. This is just stuff that I already have here. What's down here? Leaves. Boxes. Ooh. Old toys. Military cheap. Mini. Tanks. Spider. Oops. Yeah, so make sure to watch for different parts. We'll have more stuff coming. This looks like a James Bond card. Here's a James Bond gun. Revel kits. It's one of the matchbox boxes. Let's see what's this one. Mark Baker's getaway special. Interesting. Oh, 
later. Got it. Here's another uh, matchbox. Series. I gotta match these stuff maybe. These are Airfix Tarzan. I don't think these are worth very much. Ancient Siege Machines, Catapults, Britain's Morals. That's kind of cool. I used to love stuff like this as a kid. Let me see if I can open. Sorry, I'm doing the camera and doing this at the same time, which I know sucks for video. But I just want to show you guys more stuff. Oops, and it fell out. Looks like it's in here. And some pieces dropped, so I'm not even going to mess with it. I'll do this later. We also have stuff. Uh, Oh yeah, you know, the Marvel Flyers are in here. I'm going to show these. I'm going to add the Marvel Flyers to the video because those are really cool. And then I'm going to do all these these packs for for cards. We'll do those. You know what? I'm just going to continue the video. I'll, I'll give you guys another 15 minutes worth of stuff. Before I jump on, that's G.I. Joe. That's full of G.I. Joe. I got two drunks like that. So you can see my house is a mess. Before we do all these, we also have... Um, a lot of vintage carts, which you guys seen in the other videos. Here's the Lowell and Hardy. That's coming up in a video. Really cool story. And then, check these out. This whole line is 1960s. Probably do a separate video for this. There's a Mickey Mantle here somewhere. There you go. Bam. And then these are from 1966. These are Batman cards. That's coming up. Uh, these are some bats I still need to sell. These are orders for my good buddy, Kurt Francis. He buys a lot of stuff for me. Pull stuff for him. There's, oh, you know what? We're going to look at all toys. Might as well look at this. So as you can see, more and more comics. I think these are all old stamps. Oh, and coins probably. These are Big Jim Mission Pack. And I think they came from the Horner House. But I have like, I don't know, five of these. And then we also have Batman card game. Oops, low battery. Batman card game. And Batman quiz machine. And it's in there, but I only got one hand, so I'm not going to unpack it right now. I'm going to put this on here. What else is over here? Uh, oh, so, you know, I guess I might as well list this too. This is Blind Date, also store display box. And here's Screen Arrow and Super Friends Archery Set. HG Toys. I don't see a date, but it looks pretty early. Kind of cool. People love this stuff. And this stuff is really hard to find. As I drop it, somebody's going to say, Oh my god, he dropped it. These are all old vintage cards. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, let me get the Marvel Flyers. We'll take a look at the Marvel Flyers. Okay, guys. I'm just cutting this in the middle of the video. So, I know we have boxes and boxes of pins... These are some sort of Star Trek pins. But a lot of these, see like, Legion 89, the future is now. So that's, um, what does it say on here? 1988 DC. So that's already 40 years old. Here's some Green Lantern stuff. Um, I don't know who this is. It's not a comic stuff. This is Judge Dredd, something kind of pin. And, oh, here's Michael Jackson Thriller. And these are all, and these are all time periods. These are not like reproductions. Van Halen. I already had like three, four hundred in my store that they all sold. Um, so I gotta check prices. Uh, I try to check a little bit. Uh, handcuffs. Cool. And then there. But uh, if we just throw them in the store, then they're like, uh, we put them out for like $2.99, which is really cheap. Dark Horse Comics, 1993. Return of the Jedi. The door 
Wo ist das denn? Wo ist das? Secret Wars. Oh, this right here, I looked at this. This is Rod Sterling fan clip pins. And these are Felix the Cat pins. There's some uh, I Kill Flipper Fortuna sandwich and Batman. Playboy pins. So. What are these? These look like some sort of superhero. Okay, that's from Spider-Man. And let's see what the trademark is. Sorry, I have to move it. This is 1985 Marvel. I see more Van Halen and Simone and just different stuff. So. I just kind of thought I threw this in bonus footage. But uh, those will be on eBay or they will be uh, at the store for three bucks a piece. I also got a half. Here's another one more bonus footage. Probably have a hundred bucks like these, so they're coming too. Okay, guys. Because it's, it's just the cord. It's just the cube. Mm -hmm. It's a little dark in here. So, but I'll try to take the videos. Yeah, turn those lights on too. So I'm gonna give you stuff and just make a pile and start taking it up in the hallway, okay? So, and I don't know if everything here is gonna make it on eBay. So if you see something you really want, it might just go to the store because we do go to the store too. But for right now, this is the projected eBay stuff. That yeah, no, that's good. So, Builder Road by Matchbox. Oh, so that's just a case. And actually in here is um, a train set, a vintage train set. It's probably Marks, let me see. Uh, I don't see the markings. Just instructions. So we see we might sell the box because actually people collect boxes. Marks in Japan. So yeah, we'll see. That train set is probably going to go in the store, but the box might be on eBay if it has value. And then here is. Uh, you don't have to take piece by piece. Just wait till you get like a few to make it easier for you. Superboy. This is Aurora. This model should be 70s. 1974. And looks like it's all in instruction and everything's in there. Now we'll have a little bit better pictures on eBay too. So on eBay we'll actually take pictures, we'll take it apart. Um here is a Roy Rogers and Dale Emmons lunchbox. I didn't see a date on this yet. Let's see. Oh, actually, I see it now. Roy Rogers. American Thermos. Uh, made in the USA. Product. I don't see a date on the thing. But it should be 60s. If it's 60s, that's actually a really good condition. So. Yeah, the way the handles are at 60s. But there was something else in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is cool now. You want to take help me a little bit with the video? Yeah, sure. So we have a lot of boxes, which will be in this video too. But here's Rat Patrol. Like we have some more of these upstairs. He has like $85 of wrapper on these. I don't know what they're now, but people collect them. Lost in Space. And we have a few of everyone, so these all will go. Planet of the Apes, it's a whole stack. Doctari. Never heard of that. Superhero stickers. Actually, I got a whole bunch of stickers of these. This, these will be in a different video. Tatiana's favorite. The story of Robert F. Kennedy. There's a lot of these. Yeah, but, these must be 60s also. I don't see the date. Barnabas. Flying Nun. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey, hey, with all monkeys. Ain't no monkeying around. There's a lot of these. Probably 15 or so. Oh, uh, you filmed it 10%, by the way. Okay, we'll just we'll film as much as we can. Then, then I'll just take turns. Rowan's and Martin's laughing. I like how they're very colorful. 
Yeah, they're pretty cool. I, I like 50s and 60s stuff. Get Smart. It's like three photos in here. A different Monkey's Bubblegum, five cents from 1966. There's a few of those in here. Be nice if we find some old baseball ones. Green Beret, Barrett, five cents. Barrettes. Barrettes, Barrettes, uh, Barrettes, I think. Oh, this is a good one. Green Hornet, 1966. Gilligan's Island. Comic book folds, five cents. Monkeys. Here's some more superhero stickers. Monkeys, Kennedy. Stand there, monkeys. Here's a card. Hmm. Riddle cards. And then these are just like these little Kodak photo roll holders. So yeah, so this is an interesting box. I'll put that up there. That's probably a couple thousand dollars in this box. Maybe more. Okay. Adam, you know, I'm gonna have you film this. Let's look at these cars right here. Um, let's see how this one opens. Oh, wow. So I got several cases of these cars. These probably won't go on eBay right away. Um, is it stuck? Yeah, a little bit. The shelves came off. I wanna be careful. It's broken right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool case. Emergency parking. Emergency parking. <laughs> okay, these all look like old Leslie's. Come on, there we go. Okay, first one. So these are all cool. These are all. Don't show my stomach because I don't have a shirt on. Yeah, I kind of showed you a little bit. We don't want to scare nobody, Nana. <laughs> Too late. These are all the old Matchbox from the sixties. This is actually a really cool box right here. So, I don't know. I might put a one huge lot on eBay or they might just go in a store. So I still have the cows in it. So, I've never opened this case before. This is actually the first time. This is a really cool case. So, this is Matchbox. We're not going to put it back in the case since the case is a little messed up. These are all old uh, Matchbox looks too. It's different. Matchbox, matchbox, matchbox. Oh, boat. A boat? E. ETV, Husky, Studebaker wagon, made in Britain. Yeah, the boat price. I think the trailer was out of tray. So I thought these might be red lines. I have some other boxes where I noticed some red lines in there. Careful. I'm careful. trying, I'm trying. My dad always had these, these old matchbox. And this is actually a really cool box right here. I mean, at minimum, these are five bucks a car, so it's sixty dollars a tray. Six times sixty. Six times sixty. Uh, three hundred sixty dollars. There you go. But it's probably gonna be more. Some of these are worth a lot more. Plus tax. Oh, here's a red line. And shipping. Rough condition. It's cool though. Cool. Yeah, early red lines. Military. It's a matchbox. When you said red line, I thought you were meaning Thundercats. No, see, like on the very early Hot Wheels, they had red lines on the wire tires. Oh. And those are a lot more collectible, especially in good condition. That's cool. Here's another red line. And this is a surfer man. Oh, that's a red line too. Surfer man. That's cool. I've never seen this before with the surfboards. Calabunga, dude. Dior 1967. That's probably worth some money. I've never seen that before. But, you know, I'm not a die-cast huge guy, so. We're going to go to the beach soon. <clears throat> okay, so here, maybe I did open this one before, I don't know. This is Redline. Matchbox. Oh, this is Aurora. So this used to be a slot car. They convert. I got a whole box full of slot cars in this deal, too. I might show some. And the last tray. Blue, white, and gray cars. This is another Aurora. That one's a nice color. Should be matchbox. This might be a red line. Yep, another red line. Blue. This looks like a red line. Red line. It's cool to see old um, or ambulances. Yeah, I like those too. I like those in fire trucks. This is a red line too. So I'm sure we got some... Uh, 
really cool uh, car collectors. So you guys can tell us that these red lines are worth hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And we have a really rare color. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this in this case right here is a garage carry case. And it's a little bit newer, Tara toy. Made and printed in the U.S., so it needs a little work. This probably just goes to the store. All right, so. Okay, so these are really cool monochrome compact series. These are all military figures. And I don't think these are, I don't know if these are the right figures, what is supposed to be in a box. But. So I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to check. Because we have a lot of Marx figures like this that's made in Hong Kong. So I have to check this one if this is correct. But if this is correct, well, this is going out there. So there's a lot of cool stuff here. And like I said, I'm not sure if everything goes on eBay. If you see something, you can message me direct. Uh, I can sell you directly maybe before you list it on eBay. But I'll put the link in and everything will come up on eBay the next few days. This is really cool, Aurora, Batmobile. And uh, sorry, I'm filming with one hand. Yeah, this is 1966. And what's really cool about this, it's complete. And then, you know, there's always different like toys in here. Deputy Sheriff Junior Badge. Someone's book. That's cool. But here's the instructions. Looks like maybe let's get started painting. Stickers. Looks like it's pretty complete. This is Aurora Robin. I don't think this is supposed to go. Let's see. Aurora 488. Yeah, it's Robin the Wonder Boy. So this is not supposed to go. This is the Batmobile. Let's see what this one is. <coughs> Astronaut space, that's different too. <coughs> Sorry, but yeah, so this is Aurora Batmobile. Put this one aside. This is some kind of old cigar. Toilet soap. Uh, I don't know what it is. And I haven't cleaned these yet. James Bond Secret Action. Dragon Tank. Made by Gilbert. And then we have by Gilbert Action Toys. This is a Pool Table and Deadly Laser Ray. Packaged. Then we have Eagle Force Riot Savitar. In box. And I probably have like 15 of these or so. It's a whole bunch. I got some over there too. Mr. Gasser Ravel. And I don't know what's in here. These are some kind of building toys, bridges. This is what this is RP Pike planning book. Hmm. I don't know if what that is, but the box might be worth something. Dick Tracy, I don't think he's nothing special. Six finger, the most amazing toy ever. It looks like a finger, but it does it all. Suits fragmentation bomb. And you know what? I might cut this into two videos because there's a lot here, so I try to keep the videos at like 20 minutes. This is an old Ruger box. It's kind of cool. Ruger pistol. Fortunately, no pistol. But there's some collectibles in here. Ever ready? Salt and pepper. Yeah. Looks like 80s. Then this is a toy gun. Nickabaka, North Hollywood, California. I think it's an old water gun. Yeah. Duct tape in a hard shell can. And what's this? Personalities. Three headed troll. Ralph Partha. Packed. I know some of these can actually be worth a lot of money. So guys, you know, when I say like, you know, like you'll see there'll be some stuff coming that's just normal and then something else will come up that's just super rare. 
So, but like, I have literally four 10 by 20s just packed of toys. Not everything is great like this. Um, but um, there's some really cool stuff. So here's Amazing Spider-Man Aurora. Just a box itself is super cool. I think this one might've been in here. Yep, it's in here. Spider-Man. And uh, looks like he started working on a kid. Like most of it's in as far as I can tell. I'm not 100 percent sure, but this is also should be like 1966 or so. Then you see here's more the um Eagle Force Riot. And we actually did have a second figure, but this is all Savitar. Now these right here, this is Aquaman, and I think these are from the 60s too. And I looked this up and I found what it was, but now I can't remember. It's it's one action figure doll, and I think it was Japanese, and they tried to start incorporating the superheroes. And it seems like these sets go for like a hundred to two hundred dollars, but they obviously took it out of the box. But everything is still on board, never been removed, and it also has this ring, which um, let me see, so it's the Aquaman ring, which I don't know if it originally came with it or not. So I'm gonna have to research, but either way, the ring is still in package, which is kind of cool. And then we have this. And we have Phantom, same deal. And uh, you know what? I thought there was a ring on here, but I don't see the ring anymore. Skull brass, knuckle press. It's kind of cool. Um, Gorky Star Trek, still sealed. Clean vertebrae and Enterprise. So then I get weird stuff. Like I showed this to another guy. And he's like, I've never seen this before. This is 1975 Flash Gordon Space Water Pistol. Made in New York or made in Hong Kong out of Master Industries. So, and I'll clean these a little bit. Some of these are dusty, so I haven't had a chance yet. Hey, Casey, can you pass me these two boxes carefully? Because I don't want to bend the comics or anything. So you guys can see I still have um, all these comics I need to sort. Actually, I'm going to show you something right now, but I need to pause it for a second. Po hold on one second. That's fine. You guys look at one so all these boxes right here, these are all 12 centers that are bag and boarded. And everything in here is superhero comics. And then each one of these boxes is completely full. So you can see some Wonder Woman in there, it looks like <sighs> Superman. Uh, here, this box is all Spider-Man. You guys already seen some of these. You know, so there's more videos coming and stuff. Or check out other links so you might see some videos of this. I got a whole bunch of comic book videos. Here's a bunch of World's Finest. Uh, all boarded and bagged. This stuff will all eventually go to the store once I get all caught up. And then, um, here's some stuff that I'm already putting aside for uh, CGC. Swamp Thing number one. Superman, Superman. Tales of Suspense, just found this one. Black Hawk. This is a good one. House of Secrets plus it's high grade. Anyway, so you guys seen the stuff. Watch our other videos. You'll get to see all the stuff. So here's some of the rings. I have to list all these individually. And there's like so many different variations. So these probably won't go on eBay right away. But pretty much everything in this tray is uh, superheroes. Right here's some Three Stooges. You know, let's say these are average 30 bucks a piece. That's uh, 824 so you know this box is probably eight nine hundred bucks at least and then some of these go for two three hundred so certain ones are rarer than others but not only do we have one box we have two boxes and there's some uh sorry earlier gold ones jfk robin 007 tarzan i think that's hulk maybe not beetles three to beetles junior pilot American Airlines, Mr. Peanut. So, more cool stuff. Okay, guys, here are a few more pieces. Superman of America Club. That's with the envelope, the secret code book. And then there's a whole other um, site where you can talk or see it. And the button. So, there'll be a little bit better pictures on eBay, like some of the other stuff I said. And then, Marvel Flyers. Here's the original box. With 
do it. I'm gonna have all 12 flyers in the shoe box. Right here, and the flyers are like mint condition, so I'll lay those out for an eBay picture too. Those will be sold as a set. Super hard to get. And then these Captain America Jailhouse Lock set. Made in Hong Kong. Let's see. Ya. I'll see a date, there's a Roman date right there, so I'll have to look that up online. Bend and Flex, Aquaman, Superheroes, Migo. And I haven't cleaned these yet, 1972. And then I'm gonna put all these boxes on. Batman and Robin, I think that was the action figure sets. Get Smart, here's a Batman. Katari. Whatever it is. Barnabas. Marvel superhero stickers. I got a bunch of these stickers in mint condition. Mar comic covers. And the funny part, all these cards, I have all these cards. So whatever the boxes are, we have matching cards for it. Green Hornet. Justice League of America, one cents. Star Trek it has a whole bunch of um, packs in there. This Mickey Mantle. Here's another one of those Batmans. And I still got some more on the side. Some more, another Marvel superhero stickers. I'll eat this like one at a time. Blinded of the Apes. Comic book, comic book foldies. Charlie's Angels, Comic Book Heroes, and then here's a whole bunch of Charlie's Angels packs, and here's Welcome Back Cooter, so yeah, just gotta clean that box a little bit too. All right, that's it, I think I'm gonna call it for this video and then there'll be more coming, make sure you guys subscribe.